After her husband of nine days was electrocuted on death row in his Texan penitentiary, Elaine Figgis was conned out of five and a half thousand pounds over the internet by a spice seller from Luxor Temple. <laughs> Unlucky in love, Elaine has now decided she wants to have a baby. I think it's a drive with women, inbuilt, the desire to nurture, to give love. And let's face it, Tanya, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Some days I can hear my biological clock ticking so loud it scares me. <laughs> oh, that's not me. So who are you going to have a baby with? Well, I was hoping it would be my last boyfriend, Donald. He was great, Donald, if a tad violent. Man of very few words, and most of those are swears. <laughs> but sadly, he felt his time on earth was better spent with Linda from the pine shop. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I wouldn't mind one like that. So you're looking for a black pot, then? Unlike a lot of people on this street, Tanya, I'm not a racist. I'll have anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, it's 2006. Who needs a man to have a baby? Well, presumably you're not capable of producing your own sperm. Do you mind not saying that word? It goes right through me. <laughs> no, admittedly, I will have to have a donation of some description. I did ask my great pals, Michael and Gordon, you know, or the boys, as I like to call them, if they'd ever fancied a baby, but apparently they're getting a shih tzu from a trolley dolly in Tring. <laughs> Plan B. Continuing her quest to have a baby, Elaine is visiting a sperm bank. Oh, he sounds interesting. Oh, he's a jockey. They're tiny. He's a disc jockey. Mm. Remember Diddy David Hamilton? <laughs> oh, look, he's six foot one. Oh, glasses. I don't think so. <laughs> have you got any nice coffee-coloured ones? We have black donors, yes. Oh, AX3902. Oh, oh, no, he sounds perfect. BSC from Doncaster. I've been to Doncaster. The accent grates on me. <laughs> Your baby wouldn't necessarily have a Doncaster accent. But can I take that risk, Amelia? It's been six months since we last saw Elaine, and there's been some good news. It was the happiest day of my life. The morning I woke up and realised I'd missed my monthlies. So who's the father? A strawberry blonde web designer, whatever that is, called Marcus. Very posh. His Taurus for Sagittarius Rising appreciates sculpture and can't get enough of desperate housewives. So, <laughs> I've not actually seen a photo of him, but I like to think he looks something like this. <laughs> How far along are you? About six months, thereabouts. You're not showing. Not on the outside, no. On the inside, I'm huge. My mum was the same with me, you know, flat as a pancake, right through the pregnancy, and then I popped out, I was over a foot long. <laughs> my nickname was Footlong Thickis. My auntie Pearl still calls me footy, which can be a little bit confusing, you know, if I'm stood next to a football. Do you like my mobile? <laughs> and the checkups and scans, they're all going OK, are they? Don't really bother with all that, to be honest with you. You know, but baby's fine, you know, I can feel it in my waters. I can feel it in my uterus, really. <laughs> Have you thought of any names yet, Elaine? I was thinking about Mandy for a girl, you know, after Barry Manilow. <laughs> and if it's a boy, maybe something royal, you know, possibly Fergie. <laughs> I see you've bought a pram already. Got it off eBay. It's a bit of a nightmare, actually, because, you know, it's got a tendency to veer left, you know. It just won't go right, so... If I want to go right, I have to come full circle, face the direction I want to go. 
sure if that was a contraption. <laughs> really? So soon? No, you're right. It was last night's Pecora. <laughs> Sorry. Elaine is ten days overdue and there's still no sign of baby Figgis. How are you feeling, Elaine? Oh. If it doesn't come soon, I think I'll drag it out myself. <laughs> no, I mean, I wouldn't. I have to say, Elaine, you're still remarkably small for nine months. Is everything okay? Is that a new haircut, Sonia? Elaine, this is a difficult question. Oh, it's not long division, is it? Because I'm hopeless at that. <laughs> Are you really pregnant? Pregnant in what sense, Tonya? Well, the biological sense. No. Do you want to talk about it, Elaine? I don't think so, thank you.